children deal with whatever they're dealing with at home mm -hmm. at the primary school level? Mm -hmm. We have. You see, Marlene, another if issue here is that the union doesn't hire, the yeah. union doesn't employ. And so when these managements request certain things, they go to the ministry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if the ministry refuses or finds reason why it cannot be done, usually it is finance, then there's very little we can do. This country will recall that when the same Minister of Education moved the bill and the motion in the House of Representatives to remove corporal punishment from the rules, the BNTU riled up. The BNTU demonstrated at the foot of the National Assembly because we were not in agreement with the removal of corporal punishment from the school rules until they would have been in place. The structures and the infrastructure to ensure that we would have been able to deal with these type of disciplinary issues that would have arisen. Because once you can no longer discipline a child mm -hmm. in the manner that would be effective or was effective at the time, mm -hmm. although they disputed in the house, big debate about them they get lashed at school and you know, <laughs> kill them and all kind of things, you remember that? Yes. But we are saying, and the ministry promised, Yes, we are going to do something. We are going to have a lots of workshops on alternative forms mm -hmm. of discipline. Mm -hmm. They even established um, a, a unit headed by mm -hmm. Dr. Um, what's her name, Candy? Armstrong. Armstrong. And after a couple of months, mm -hmm. end of Gone story. Yes. Yeah. Because up to that point, when that when that um, corporal punishment was removed, corporal punishment was removed from the rules. The rules had provision that it was only the principal who could have administered corporal yeah. punishment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there was something in place. Yeah. So now you throw that all out. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're ending up with today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. But again, the matter was brought up. And, 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 and I know the minister hate to hear about what he did with this corporal punishment thing. He doesn't like to hear that. Mm -hmm. In fact, yesterday he got, oh, we know why yeah. about that. We will fix it. Again. But they give proposals as to how to fix it. Because going backwards is never the ideal. No, yes, it's yes. about finding alternatives and moving forward. Correct. Exactly. But you see, <laughs> and I will end with this. And I think when, 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 we get, when we elect people to government in our country and, mm -hmm. and they become ministers, they become what we call no Italian. You know. Look at how you show them the facts. They know it all. Yeah. And so that, again, take a whole new cultural and thinking shift in, in, our, in our psyche to be able to deal with some of these things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, we didn't touch the issue of uh, Juliancho Technical. Well, Juliancho, again, I visited Juliancho, mm -hmm. but I was unable to get information because the day of my visit, the acting principal, I believe, or the administrators mm -hmm. were out. Mm -hmm. And those who were holding over... Um, you know, refuse to give any sort of information. It's not that I wanted details as to who got what and that kind of thing. I just wanted to know, you know, how it was affecting. Mm -hmm. um, in their view, there was no effect on the school. The school was running as per normal. Um, things were under control. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they were going through with their, with, with their classes as per normal. Heads of departments were assisting in, in, in you know, in overseeing the school. Mm -hmm. So in their view, what was found was not impacting the running of the school in terms of offering students education. So they're managing fine with an acting principal. That is what they said to me when I spoke to, to the two persons mm -hmm. who are holding over. Oh. So as I said, you know, we have been checking on these things and, mm -hmm. and we continue to discuss. We, as I said, we raised the matter of counselors. That is on the table. The counseling association has brought that matter up as well because there are other issues, not just about counselors, but it's about their um, salaries and, and, and how they are going to be recognized, whether they are teachers or counselors, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. So out of those, so there are yeah. several issues that come yeah. with, with, with counselors yeah. that we are working on along with um, the other persons who are in the association. All right. All right. Well, thank you for coming in and providing this update. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate the okay. invitation. We're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about the employee assistance program available under public service. That's coming up after the break. Sixty-five years ago, Don Omarius...
Welcome back, welcome back to Open Your Eyes. A lovely Wednesday morning. We're now moving into our second segment for the morning. And this one is a very interesting discussion as well as the Ministry of Public Service, Energy and Public Utilities Employee Assistance Program. That's the discussion uh, uh, right here in front of us. Sean Vargas is in with us and uh, he is the Coordinator, Employee Assistance Program from the Ministry of uh, Public Service, Energy and Public Utilities. Sir, hmm. good yes, morning. Sir, I'm all right. Good morning. How and welcome. You? Thank you. Thank you very much for the invite. You know, when, when we hear when we hear employee assistance, we we, we think um, we think financial. Uh, we 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 there are a few things that comes to mind when we think about that. So let's 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 get there. When what are we talking about when it comes to uh, employee assistance? Employee assistance program for the Ministry of the Public Service is a little bit of a different take from what we're accustomed to. Mm -hmm. Um, it's new for Belize. I, I can still call it um, relatively new. Some of the bigger companies, they have their own own EAP programs. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the biggest in the country is the, those for the Ministry of Public Service. Of course, we are the bigger um, employee, the biggest yes. employees, yeah. um, employers are in, the, in this country. Um, we look at financial management and all of that for um, public officers, yes. yes. But our focus mainly is the mental health of public officers, mm. the social welfare of public officers. So that's our priority area yeah. within the, um, the EAP program. You said it, it's very young. Mm -hmm. It started in what, 2014? We, wow. I moved over in 2014 and the implementation process actually started in 2015. Because yeah. yeah. you're a social worker yes. by profession. Social worker by training, yeah. Yeah. human development for uh, 14 Excellent. years. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And so from going into homes to help mm -hmm. people, it's offering services mm -hmm. for people who are employed mm -hmm. But in government departments, yes, it's a different uh, a different target population. W what's the goal here? What what is the employee assistance program aimed to achieve? Well, we have several factors that that we pay attention to, and we we are moving away from from some of what was was initially um, listed out because we we're seeing the program is growing and 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 where we are pushing forward to have. Um, members of, of, of the public service realize that, you know, in this country we have the stigma about, about therapy, about mental health. Mm -hmm. yes. And we, when we're sick, we, we find a doctor, mm -hmm. we, we, or something is wrong with our vehicle, we, we find yeah. a mechanic. When you're physically but, sick, we But find when you're physically yeah. sick, we find a doctor. But mm -hmm. when we have issues with our emotions yes. and, and, and feelings, yes. we, we tend to go, go, go take a bear or, or, or go relax and, and, and forget about it. But yeah. The mental health is very important and yes. we believe that or we had this mentality that only crazy people do counseling and, mm -hmm. and, and that's not the reality. Yeah. When promoting this program to public officers, I always ask for the married public officers to, to raise their hands. And before that process of matrimony, we have to do some form of, of counseling, mm -hmm. whether with the priest or the pastor or, or, or some senior married person in the church. Mm -hmm. And so the therapy process is, is, is relating to that. When you are not holy or, or, or nurturing your soul, then there's some aspect of, yeah. of, of services that, that is required. Yeah. And for that, we push towards, we have over 35 active clinical practitioners with our program. Wow. Oh. Countrywide. Very so good. how does it work? Is it that, you know, I get in trouble at the office, maybe I made a post online that was inappropriate uh -huh. and my employer says you must go to counseling through the employee assistance program? Well, our program is voluntary. Mm -hmm. Our program is, is, is voluntary and um, it, it's part of the regulation now and, and there are certain factors that, that why we keep it voluntary because mm -hmm. we want to make sure that when you come to the program you are here because you want to you be want here to be, yes. okay. because we're going to give you this service yeah. if you force someone into therapy the the, the, the result will yeah. not be what you want you're telling them something else you're yes. telling them that you are not properly correct you know yeah you're yeah. not fun fun yeah, functioning functioning properly and then you need to do this it, yes. it doesn't so work therapy that way is, is you take action for yourself yes, so yes. definitely being forced you, in so the voluntary process is that you, a, a public officer, can come to the office without any um, referral from a supervisor, from a senior okay. public officer. Yes. You can come on your own. We operate a 24-hour a a, a um, cell phone. Oh, wow. So um, you could get me on the weekends, uh, after yeah. hours and all of that. Um, we're available by email and, and a direct phone contact. So the officers, I travel um, to, to the officers. We operate what is called client-centered. 
Mm -hmm. So we meet the officers where they're at if they would prefer to come to the office or I go to the districts to mm -hmm. meet the officers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then during that process, we, we discuss the challenges and we do an assessment. And based on that, the referral is, is made to, to one of our clinical practitioners. What can be dealt with in-house is dealt with in-house. And that is referred to, to some of our clinical practitioners. Lovely. And we let me just add that since we started in, in, in 2015 in terms of the, the, the um, implementation of the program to date, we have seen over 700 public officers. Wow. I, that is so good to hear. Mm -hmm. I, I think mm -hmm. there is a slow shift, but mm -hmm. a shift taking place where people recognize that you can access services mm -hmm. to help you with your mental health. And it doesn't mean that you have a disorder exactly. or an illness. Mm -hmm. It could just be temporary, mm -hmm. a hump that you need to yes. get over. Just the nourishing of the soul. Yes, Precisely. just the nourishing yeah. of the soul. In, and even like a checkup makes you feel better to know mm -hmm. you're healthy. Definitely. A check-in yes. also allows you to realize, okay, I'm, I'm not... I can cope with what I have. And you know we do that a lot at the office in Belmopan, mm -hmm. this check-in process. Mm -hmm. Public officers are going to come in and, and like, you know what, I don't want to go through this long-term therapy, but I just need to talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are there for. That's what we are there for. We, we, yeah. we, you come in, we, we, we make an appointment, yeah. and then we go through that process with you. And, and you will find majority of the time you just come in to talk, they come back. Yeah. They come back because then whatever has been been, been open yes. yes it's it's there and the, the, the shoulder is lighter in and yeah. out i think one of the things that um that really shy people away I, i'm so happy like you know and you could hear the sentiment here mm -hmm. we're so happy that there is actually uh, uh now uh an avenue for people could to especially in the public service being mm -hmm. that it is the largest employer um for people to vent how they feel when you're mentally when you're mentally calm every you, you become much more productive mm -hmm. but one of the things that i think would 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 shy people away is how how discreet it is like mm -hmm. uh, you know am i am i going to be safe with telling you how i feel mm -hmm. i don't want this to come out what, how do we work around this we our program we pride ourselves on our level of confidentiality mm. yeah. and and that's one of the, the main reasons we we spend on our practitioners when i say we we don't hire persons who call themselves counselors you know we have these pseudo counselors and, and, and all these things yeah. we employ it's professional a profession. yes yeah. it's a profession mm -hmm. as a trained social worker myself i am bound by the the ethics of confidentiality yes. yeah. and that is the the, the, the course that, that we follow once a public officer comes in for a referral or is referred that officer is automatically transferred to a number so we don't use a name so for purposes of, 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 um, of confidentiality, confidentiality yes. we use a number. So only myself as the coordinator and the, the clinical person who are going to do the referral to will mm. have to match that name with that number. Mm -hmm. Nobody else will know. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's, that's, how, that's the level of confidentiality we have. Yes. And um, whatever is submitted to accounts, because we have to submit for payment. Yeah. Of course. Because we, the, the public service pays for these therapy. The public officers are not out of their pocket any at all. Wow. It's this a is free a, service. This is a free service for the public service, okay. for all public servants across the country. And um, whatever is transferred to accounts for payment and, and, and all these things, it's, the code is, is traveled with that person. So one code is specific to one officer. Mm. Yeah. So everything is settled with that within that area. And our practitioners are outside of the public service mm -hmm. in private practice. Mm. Mm. So they are not obligated to report to any commission. Mm. Okay. You submit a report to the office to show completion and that report is coded. Yeah. Wow. Well, see, okay, that, that, that answers my question because I was... My thought was, um, how do I take, let's say it's a work issue, you know, mm -hmm. maybe I'm struggling with um, poor management uh -huh. um, or issues with um, uh, whoever is in the mm -hmm. workplace. Mm -hmm. I, I guess people would be fearful to yes, go definitely. to the public definitely. service because I'm, I'm talking about my supervisor, mm -hmm. yes, a co-worker, yes. or maybe a friend or fellow political appointee, uh -huh. but the clinicians are separate. The clinicians are separate from the public service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that mm -hmm. adds a bit of ease for Definitely. them, I'm sure. But Sean, okay, so what Marlene brought up is actually a, a very valid point and one that it rears it, its head every day, whereby supervisors are out there actually taunting mm -hmm. their, their, you know, their, their, employ their employees or their co-workers. So if we're hearing these things, especially in the public, public service, is there a possible way that we actually try to reach out to that supervisor to mm -hmm. find out that style of management? And I'm, I'm, and I'm saying this because 
you, you surely don't want to quell the situation mm -hmm. if that person have to go back under mm -hmm. that same supervisor. What, what, what happens there? So part of the process, we, we work with coping skills. Mm -hmm. we, we would work with the, the public officer on coping skills. And that, whatever is, is um, reported about a, a senior manager, um, that information is, is, is discussed with, with, with confidentiality and, and, and permission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, the senior management of the ministry is, is informed. On, on several occasions, I informed the, the CEO, who is a very helpful individual, and, and he, he is a progressive thinker and, and look towards the, the, the importance of mental health. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he deals with that at that level. Mm -hmm. Because we can't have persons with, with, with senior positions taking advantage yeah. of, of junior officers. It, it is happening. It's a reality, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a reality. But these matters are dealt with at, at, that, at that senior level. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, we, we ensure that, that something is, is, is looked at for the, the public officers. And public officers have their union, the union that they can go yeah. to. A part of the process also so mm -hmm. the eap program doesn't necessarily get in and try to remedy a situation it's about mm -hmm. helping me feel Coping strong and, enough yes. uh -huh. to go and file and a report that, the yes, way that it process. should be oh. done we don't Perfect. we don't we don't engage in in mediation yeah. within, within properly it's therapy. With those, yeah. yes it's, it's yes. part of therapy we do some level of mediation yeah once we're we're asked to to get involved we will do it mm -hmm. the mediation component that we do a lot of is, is home visits because I, I also as a, I can't take that social work aspect from me I, I will visit with, with families at home and, yeah. and we do mediation sessions at home no? yeah so it, it doesn't have to be a job related issue that's stressing them out it no. can be you know I'm having a hard time you know being with in agreement my marriage, with my spouse yes. or with my teenage children mm -hmm. we know that's hard yes. um, <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, so it can be anything on anything, a personal anything level anything personal the level that is affecting employment because yeah. we have some public officers who are late to work constantly yeah and they're they're punished they're they're, they're dealt with according to the regulations yeah. for for tardiness yeah. but what is causing that officer to come to work late yeah. yes. what is causing that officer from missing work yeah. mm -hmm. and then that is what we look at and try to help the officers to deal with those uh, situations and mm -hmm. then become more productive in the system yeah. your brochure also talks about alcohol abuse which mm -hmm. we know is a very big issue in this country, in this country. um and also in particular sectors of of the public service mm -hmm. what what uh, is that i mean is that an issue that you tell people, you know, if you identify? Because people don't always identify that they have the problem. Yes. Well, the, one of the, there, since we've started, um, so we've had over 700, and I can say majority of what we have seen is result of alcoholism. Mm -hmm. And um, alcohol is a culture of this country. Yeah. It's a culture of the region. Mm -hmm. And we all, we make joke and say we all have a home bar. <laughs> right, um, but it's, it's a level of control. How do we control ourselves with, with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do we make an effort to, to be ready for work the following day because of our consumption levels? Yeah. So we look at that and, and there's an activity that I do with public officers who are referred for, for alcoholism and I have them literally count the amount of, of drinks they would have for the for the week or for the day and then we we we, we sum that to the total of the week and to the total of the month and yes. when they see that oh my really? god no when then you see the numbers that's when you realize some people consume almost two cases of beer for the for the for the month or for two weeks what? and then we we we, we qualify that or into into funds how much yeah. money how are much you money spending you spend? mm -hmm. how much money are you spending yeah yeah and yeah. and that's when you know that that light bulb is going to click off but most of what we're seeing it's not at that level where it's uncontrollable yeah. mm -hmm. and and as long as the guidance is is available then mm -hmm. the public officers they make an effort to do it and some cases we you do have to refer to rehabilitation yeah. for rehab and and we we do have that in the country so when we say public service i know a lot of people or or mind automatically thinks of the people who are working in the government departments you know whatever ministry office i go into it, does it include or defense forces or police officers, mm -hmm. for example, yes. are under lots of stress? Human development, those social mm -hmm. workers as well also need some, some release. Yeah. We know we're hearing now of issues in the Belize Defense Force mm -hmm. as well. Are all these people involved? Because those are some of the higher stress. Mm -hmm. I, I hate to differentiate, but they have 
you uniform know. services yeah. are a high stress yeah. job. <laughs> yeah, we, we cover all like about fourteen to fifteen thousand public officers wow. countrywide. That's that's the the scope of the program. Mm -hmm. The scope of the program. And when it comes to these um, individuals, especially within the uniform organizations, the the the, the BDF um, they have a, an in house therapist. They have mm -hmm. an in house therapist. But we also work along with, with the in house therapist and we, we provide training. We look at levels of what we're looking at for, for senior managers. We, we spoke about senior managers um, in terms of the, the behavior and, and the, mm -hmm. the management style. We look at emotional intelligence. Yes. It's one of the things that, that we're creeping up and, and tr making an effort to provide for all senior managers yeah. because your, your approach is, is different um, from, from others. And, and People tend to have this. We, we, I, I was listening on Wendy, um, the member from, from the union, talked about when we get positions, we, we behave differently. Mm -hmm. yes. It's part of human nature. Power. And you have your power. It's power, power. and responsibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. Power and control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we look at these things and we make an effort to, to, to help officers and, and the senior officers. You know what? And majority of our managers in the public service, they're not managers, you know. They're technical persons. They're technical persons who have that competency and then you're promoted to that management yeah. level. But it doesn't so mean we you know them. how to deal it with It doesn't mean you, yes. you know that, that, that people's skill. You yeah. don't mean you know that people's skill. Mm -hmm. So that's an effort, that's an area that part of our strategic plan for 2020 is to look at emotional intelligence for yeah. public officers yeah. and to help us within the, 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 the public service. Wow, this is, this is, this is uh, you know, it's mind-blowing. And I'm sure that you guys, because we started in when? In 2014. 2014. 2014. The, the policy was in 2014 and okay. the implementation. From then 20, to 20, now, we've seen over 700. 700. Almost mm. half of the... Uh, no, yeah. 700, almost 700 oh, okay. public officers. So what are, we, what are we learning now in terms of the, uh, in terms of the, uh, the rate of, uh, 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 what am I looking for here? Um, in terms of... It, you know, streamlining, streamlining across uh, across the board with people becoming much more uh, aware. So, yes, aware mm -hmm. of it and stuff like that. What are we learning? What are we seeing here? What what I'm what I'm happy about is the the awareness of the program. We we are running ads. We it took us a while to look at actually producing ads about the program, and mm -hmm. for some other reason, I was saying like, okay, why am I going to do this? <laughs> but I'm seeing the benefits. Since yeah. we're running the ads, we are getting a lot more referrals into the program. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what I'm, in terms of seeing the, the trend, uh, we have a, a public service with, with issues of stress and depression. Yes. That's, that, and those are anxiety. some of the, uh, yes. anxiety, those are some of the things that, 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 that's pronounced in, mm -hmm. in the referrals, yeah. along with the, the alcoholism. But you know the basis of all of these things mm -hmm. that they do with. And productivity level? Yes. Yeah, it's increasing. Yeah. In, it's I increasing just, yeah. and even absenteeism. I think we, we're making an, a, a, an impact in that, in that oh. area. We're because absenteeism is tied to... To depression and, yeah. and stress and, and the same alcohol. And even not being able to cope in a work <laughs> environment as yes. well. Yes. So what do you use as your measure of success? Because contact hours mm -hmm. or number of cases is one thing. You've 700 in um, four, over four mm -hmm. years. Um, but how do, you, how do you measure and how do you justify? Because everybody always has to justify, justify the program. <laughs> to go back to say this is helping. Mm -hmm the public service of Belize? Okay, we initially what we were doing was more of a qualitative component. I would, would, would make contact back part of the, the, the monitoring and evaluation aspect. I would make contact and I would do the documentation. But now what we're doing, we, there, is a, there is a farm attached to, to the contract that goes to the public, the, the, the private um, contractor who, who mm -hmm. is the, the, the clinical um, practitioner. Mm -hmm. And then the public officers are required to complete that that farm mm -hmm. to evaluate the therapist yes. okay. and the service mm -hmm. and so that is it's looked at and, and and then we review that we are in the process of actually getting a a, a, a consultant to come in to evaluate the program mm -hmm. of course. to look at the program in terms of okay what we need to do more or what are, what is it that we need to let go of yeah. in that area so we're, we're getting there we're Excellent. collecting the data to, to help us what that. about the the issue because are people comfortable now being known as having access to the service itself? Yes, and, and that was to, to, to my surprise that um, some of the referrals that we're getting are from public officers who have used the program. Mm -hmm. and, and in practice, we, we pride ourselves on that. Mm 
-hmm. because then that means we made a, a, a significant dent in that person. Yes. To, that, to the point that, you know what, you have these issues, something similar to mine, and I got help through this program. Mm -hmm. yeah. So public officers are the word to mouth, the word to um, word of mouth, word of mouth um, mm -hmm. referrals. We, we're seeing a lot of that. Excellent. So that's where I know we have a, a great level of impact wow. there. Wow. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. <laughs> so, what is your message to uh, other public servants who perhaps are struggling in, in mm. one way or another? You know, I think any workplace can benefit from a program like this yeah. because individually each person has their own challenges they're going through. Yeah. This is a service that is ex exclusive for those who are employed um, mm -hmm. as, as public as servants. Public officers. Mm -hmm. um, so <coughs> who, what, how do they get in touch um, and, and what's your recommendation to them? Well, I always explain to, to officers, I, I make an effort to do um, presentations to yes. the to public <laughs> service though, to look after your health. Looking after your health is not just your physical, physical health, health yeah. your mental health is important. Yeah. Sometimes you, your, your stress levels are significantly high. Sometimes you have that, that level of tension in your, your shoulder yeah, area. Yeah. And it's not just a matter of, of okay, you know what, I'll just sit this off or, or sleep it out. Mm -hmm. Actually, go talk to someone. Mm -hmm. that, that, that outside influence or that, or that outside take is important for, for all of us. Mm -hmm. As as a trained social worker, I do find time to see my own therapist. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because it, the amount of, of clients that I see for the week, and I have to go home to my, to my family, and I have two young boys. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you're human. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I find time to, to, to see a therapist. So, and a, a good social worker, a good therapist is going to tell you the same thing. You have to find time for yourself. Of course. And just ignoring the symptoms is not going to help you. So think about your mental health, your yeah. nourish your soul, yeah. Yeah. a sound body and a, and a sound mind. Yeah. So this program is available for you free of cost, yeah. free of cost and take advantage of it. Yeah. Take advantage of it. We are located at um, the, the Sir Edney Kane building, which is the office, the, the Ministry of Public Service office mm -hmm. on the second floor there. All, all right. right. Well, Excellent. thank you very much for coming in and telling us all about it. Thank you very much for the invite and do have a good day. All, all right. right. We're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we will actually be touching base with Nacho World. It's actually a Nacho feature. And uh, Mark Renault is in. We'll be chit chatting with him. Over 100 years of service excellence in Belize, the Belize Bank Limited recognizes the importance
and welcome back. Welcome back to Open Your Eyes. And now we're moving into our third and final segment for the morning. It's a Nacho World feature. Yes, Nacho World. And of course, Nacho Option, an expanded menu. Now, in to talk to us about it is actually the proprietor of the business, the owner of Nacho World, Mark Reno, is, is in with us. And uh, assistant of Nacho World, Sylvia and Alberto. Guys, good morning. Good and morning. Welcome. welcome. Good morning. All Nacho, right. how do you say that in Nacho World? Um, Nacho World. Yeah. How do you say good morning in Nacho oh, language? Oh, good morning. Uh, that's it? In yes, Nacho good language? Morning. <laughs> good morning. Good <laughs> morning. All right, buddy. So let's talk about the business. I mean, you, you're, you're an entrepreneur and uh, you're a strong believer in having your own business. Talk to us about the business and, uh, you, you know, you got started and the fact that you're actually moving forward with it. Okay, the business got started in um, 1915, um, and we started from behind Belize Elementary, close to you guys. Yeah. 2015. 2015. 2015. Yeah, I, I, no. 2015. <laughs> I know. I understand. Yeah, two, 2015, yeah. right? Yeah. So this yeah. may gonna actually make us five years since we opened up. Yeah. For me to came up with Nacho World, living in the States, and yeah. I love cooking and stuff like that, and my friends and family always encourage me well, I make nacho at home, why don't you open up your own business? So when I came home, I fell in love with this beautiful young lady and we decided we're going to do it, right? And cool. from since then, we came up with so much different ideas. This is our menu. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. You know? This is the breakfast part and we have the um, nacho part. We have nachos. Yeah, we have so you got meat nachos, seafood nachos, house special nachos. House special. Oh. There's a Christmas tree nachos. Did you know that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're also vegetarian. We don't leave out nobody. There's a veg a veggie nachos. Veggie okay. Nacho, yes. cool. So you know we have different type of um, topping. We yeah. have eleven different type of topping. I brought like five, six this morning. Mm -hmm. We have five different type of dip. I brought four of those with me this morning. Mm -hmm. And we have all different type of meat. Like I said, the, the thing about it, if you notice the slogan up here, come taste the experience. If yeah. the government said I could sell a snake, you could come and eat a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what it is disguised. You understand me? So, like I was saying, go back to um, 2015, um, me and my Kamala wife, we sit down and we put everything together. Yeah. Slowly but surely. We yeah. try not to leave out nothing. We do from smoothies, frozen coffee, everything we do. Wow. You understand mm. me? So, so you moved from our side of town, town and you went downtown. Town. How, downtown. how have things been going <laughs> Well, since then? downtown, there are more demands, more than naturally demands, more food because it's more work type mm -hmm. downtown. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So that's how we start coming up with the idea. She loved to cook and this is how we came up with start the different art kind of food. Actually, every day we have up to at least 10 different types of meat. Whoa. Mm -hmm. you know, so we start from simple shoe chicken, shoe turkey. We have shoe beef. We have pork ribs, pork chops. We have chicken pasta. We have, like, today is, like, Chinese food, so we're going to have chow mein. We're going to have fried mm. chicken. We're going to have um, fried chicken with steak sauce on top of it. You know, what? so we go to everything. And it's sad, Allah. We don't believe in just um, potato salad and coleslaw yeah. mm -hmm. and planting. We have all different kind of sad, Allah, yeah. you know. So that's, that's, it. that's what makes us different from... So you, you expanded beyond yes, expanded. just this nachos to uh, adding food items. We have yes. some of the breast breakfast. Um, on display here, yes. uh, pancakes, omelet, bagel, waffles, eggs, um, so yeah. people can really get yes. uh, just kind of a quick and easy uh, to go bagel, yeah. but they can also have a, a meal as well. Yes. Yeah. Tell us about your breakfast. You did mention all different types of meat for lunch, but what about for breakfast? Okay, for breakfast, the same thing. We have all different types of breakfast. We have a house special breakfast, you understand me? A, a mm. hungry bear breakfast. Yes, you look at the the menu. hungry bear, oh, yes. so. which comes with wheat bread, toast, cheesy steak, egg, hash brown, and jelly. Or pancake, <laughs> sausage, ham, bacon, eggs, baked beans, and maple syrup. And we mm. also have, That's a lot. We also yeah. have a breakfast wrap that a lot of people like. Yeah. It's very, it's very, you know, it's very unique. It's yeah. different. Now, we also do local food too, but I try to stick to a little overseas food and all that at the same yeah. time for the breakfast, you know. So what's your most popular breakfast? The most popular bre breakfast, to be honest, is the um, uh, turkey bacon. The turkey bacon. bacon. Turkey bacon with waffle and okay. pancake, you know. Oh. Eggs, eggs come with it automatically. Yeah. All the breakfasts automatically come with, with eggs and we also put a little side of fruit just to remind you to keep it healthy. Nice. Yeah. Well, actually when it comes to breakfast and my lunch, I deal with everything strictly either vegetarian yeah, or... bananas and apples yes. here. Yeah. Same with both these yes. plates. Yes. All right. All right. I like that. I mean, you know, one of the things that we, we love in our country, variety. Mm -hmm. Yes, we stick with from um, the regular tortilla or fried jacks. But then at Natural World, you could actually get the variety. No, I mean, and you can still get traditional. Because yeah. let's look at, we got some rice and beans here. Yeah. But that's with turkey. Turkey wing. 
turkey wing. Well, I prefer the turkey you know wing because it got more meat. Sold on that already? <laughs> I prefer that like, because it got more meat. The yeah. neck, yes, I know I love the neck too, but the, the turkey wing actually, you know, you want your protein. Yeah. Yes, I mean, you, in the morning time, you really burn out enough energy. Yeah. Lunch time, you want to put back some kind of protein. So you got your traditional rice and beans. This is also another traditional dish people are moving towards. So your dukono, dukono and stew chicken. chicken. Yeah, we love yeah. it plus. You get your coleslaw, and of course, that's rich right. too. Get fresh rich too. And this one, mm -hmm. I can imagine people enjoying this one, yes. especially <laughs> if you know you feel like you're trying to eat healthy or on a diet. You mm -hmm. can get half veg, but you can also get some great meat there. Yeah, you get your protein uh, in. Yes, yeah, so it's your choice of the meat, whichever one you want. You understand me? So, it's not saying that you have to have beef or you have to whatever yeah. you want. If you just want straight vegetarian. Mm -hmm. We could do that too, you know. Okay. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell you what, Mark. Uh, while you're in the back doing your thing and probably meeting your customers who meet their customers every day, mm -hmm. all day, mm -hmm. is Sylvia. So, Sylvia, mm -hmm. tell us about your experience working along with Natural World. Well, my experience has been quite fancy. Lovely, great. <laughs> you meet people every day. Yes. And what do they ask for? What, what, what's, what's the sentiment? Well, the breakfast. Mm -hmm. They are mostly with the waffle and the eggs and the sausage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mark said. Mm -hmm. And then the lunch time, well, everybody wants a different flavor of their choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And can I call to a call to order if I'm in a if I'm in an office? We've got fifteen twenty a week, and yes. I could call get that dealt with. Yes, we yes. We, we do catering and everything. Mm -hmm. What? And then what? The after school hours. That's when the nachos kick up. Basically after five. Yeah. After, after five. five. Yeah, now after that's, five. that's the that's what really got you started. Your nachos and yes. just really um, being creative in in different types of yeah. uh, the cheese that you use, uh, even colors. There's a blue dip in front of us. the blue. Yeah. Hole. What inspired you? People love yeah. chips and because, dip in this country. Because okay, um, it's like this, right? When me and my wife sit down and talk talk about it, we say, okay, we're looking at certain things in Belize. The yellow stand for for people mellow. Caribbean really? is mellow, you understand me? <laughs> the blue hole represents us, as in, the, as in ah. you know, we have, the, we have the second largest blue hole in the, I mean, first, I think the first or the second largest blue hole in the world. First largest, the, largest living. Largest living. living, but okay. So the Belizean dip is what you guys make at home, just so that I make it better. Oh! <laughs> I don't know, we, we could do a dip competition, right? <laughs> all of, all of them, all of them have their own ingredients. We have a lot of Hispanic here. So I came up, we came up with Mexican dip mm -hmm. because they love pepper. So they have like three to four different type of peppers in it. So it's spicy. All of them, yes, all of them having their own ingredients. Yeah. The only dip is not here is the um, island ranch dip. The island ranch dip is just like the ranch, well, everything we do, we do from scratch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Or pancake, everything is from scratch, wow. not from, you know. So that's, that's what makes us different. And not only this, we do burgers, hot dog, and all that too. We have a variety, about 10 different type of hot dog. Yeah. We do burgers as well too. Yeah. So, so you got the Belizean, and the Belizean is just our classic cheese dip, your so homemade that, yes, cheese dip. Yes, all of the dip are made from home, from happy cow cheese or guayo cheese. None Easy. of them is not from Ken. So, so let's, <laughs> let's start to uh, do a bit of assembly here and see what's happening. Okay. John, do you want to try one of these dips? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. I definitely will try. I could try all of it. I have no problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, She's going to assist you guys yeah, in doing yeah. that. But you know what, Mark? I, I, I'd like for you to uh, tell me what you think I should try first. Uh, well, yeah. to be honest, I don't have no special. Really? Yeah. I don't. I'll, if I, if I'll I, I say, me, I love the same way. Yes. <laughs> all seven of them, I love the same way. And to be honest, the dip them, like I said, each one of them have their own ingredients, their own okay. taste. So okay. I okay. cannot say this, you know. With me, sometimes when I eat my nacho, I put like three, four different meat on it. Yeah. Because that's what now, I, I just like can't it. have no choice. I don't, you know. So sometimes I, like, if I eat the barbecue chicken, I'm gonna want some smoke sausage. If I eat this, I'm gonna want that. So what I yeah. do, I just put everything together and so yeah. okay. You got everything. Everything. All right. So Sylvia, tell us what's the popular what's the popular combinations that people get. People usually prefer the Belizean dips and the Caribbean spice. The what? Caribbean spice. Which one is the Caribbean spice? The yellow one. The, the yellow, yellow one. one. All right, let me but remember, none of them is not from Ken. And we I was going to say, this looks like no, your regular that's what I Remember, cheese. I explained to you just now, in the Caribbean, we are mellow. So yeah. I put that as yellow. Yellow, you, know? you mellow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, so which one am I going to use? I want to try this first yeah, before let's I try to. venture into. Mm. Delicioso? Yeah, it's good. Oh, mm, my God. It is spicy. Oh, you know what? Give me a spoon of porfaboro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I try to use Spanish for this morning. 
All right, so uh, yeah. So the Belizean dip is popular, the Caribbean spice. This is bubble. The blue hole, the kids, they love it. Of course. Yeah. Who doesn't yeah. want blue dip? Yeah, let's try <laughs> it. And the meat combinations? The meat combination, we have like, I said, from barbecue chicken, mm -hmm. grilled chicken, smoked sausages, mm -hmm. pulled pork, jerk pork, curry chicken, mm -hmm. right? And we have um, grung, the regular ground steak. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have that as well, too. You know? Mellow, you go, mellow. All right, one this more time. This is your Belizean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go just traditional here. Okay. Now, let me ask because one of the worst things that can happen with the nachos mm -hmm. is that we get more chips than dip. Well, the point, the, the, the point about see the chips. See how I like dip, my right? property yes, drizzle. But see, at the end of the bottom, you uh -huh. still you want to want some more chips. Yeah. So you outdo yourself. <laughs> so what I try to do, I try, okay to balance, I, I, try, <laughs> I try to balance it off and make sure that the nacho have the same amount yeah. as, you know. All right. That's the best way. But to of do course, it. you can always get extra of too. Of course, you yeah. always get extra. It's not a problem. Yeah. And yeah. you do. We, we come with a cost, right? So you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But you, I, I mean, I, we want you on record here. You're yeah. not stingy with the dip. No, we're not okay. stingy with it. Yeah. We try our best. You know, like I said, we we try to work out the balance. But mind you, know, this is not canned cheese, so the, the this is a total different cost. Canned cheese is half the price of what I pay for half cow cheese. That's true. You mm -hmm. know, That's so true. all that too, you know, it come with a, with a cost. With a cost, of course. But yeah. you want to keep it original. Original, yeah. exactly. Pass me the blue hole. What's bar. what's over here? Oh, that's pineapple. Mm -hmm. That's beans. You have um. Jalapeno, you have salsa. This is the favorite. Everybody loves this. Uh -huh. Everybody like this salsa? actually, yes. This for the guy out thingy? Yes. Mm. This is so you can All help right. yourself with a spoon. So, I've been mm. middle. I've been. So, let's see home. what's happening with that blue hole. All right, let's see what's up with the blue hole. Is this spicy as oh well? Oh my god. No, it's not spicy. I feel like I'm going to eat paint. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so mm. we are. Like I said, we also have pineapple. Mm hmm. Um, oh my god pineapple we have the we have the mixed herbs you know so you know there's an option for everyone yes there's an option for all everyone. right we have Summer. The beans now tell here. me your strange combinations what's the strangest combination people have asked you for sylvia um the strangest combination mm -hmm. the, blue. Sure. <laughs> the blue hole and the caribbean spice mixed yes mm -hmm. oh they wanted the green <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't mind trying the mix. Car <laughs> this is good. You love you who tried the Caribbean spice just now? I yeah. did. That was delicious. I yeah. tried the Caribbean spice. Well, try this is very blue. Yeah. yeah. You could try this one if you like. Yeah, let's let me try that one too. This mm. is spicy. That's spicy? Well yes. bring her on. Mm. Well probably that's my tell you John spicy. <laughs> 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 Alright, so let me dip. Oi, 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 oi. I hope. Ah oh, man, it's okay. All right, so here we go. Spicy. We had this blue. We had Caribbean. Oh, this is the, the Mexican with yes. five spices. Oh. Don't look for me like that, man. <laughs> man please don't look for me. So. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Have yeah, we seen back for water then? Not for you yet. So there are no alarm bells going off. Yeah. It's hot. Not hot yet. Okay, <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> What are, what is, it are, more, is it more spicy than this one? It's more, way more spicy than that one. Oh, okay. This one, this one is sting, it's sting. The challenge is on. Mm -hmm. I think I see your eyes watering. <laughs> that one sting. <laughs> that one sting, bud. Oh yeah, the lot Oh yes. Time. Ooh, you're feeling now. Ooh, ooh. You know when you get this and... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, it is spicy. Mm -hmm. It's coming on. But it's not so bad. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Cool. You know the more so, you, the more you eat you're gonna get that skin. Oh, I know that much. I was very careful and I also didn't pick up any teeth. Man, I, man I, I, I really I really like it out. So, so where are you located? We're located at 69 Albert Street. Mm -hmm. Right side of channel seven. And people can call in their orders and yep. pick them up. Of course. People call and call us or visit us on the website, Nacho World website. We also have a website where we display everything. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we do catering and everything. No matter what it is, we do it. You can give us a day ahead, whatever you like. If you, you want us it. to cook for you in your style, we'd like to. It's not only in our style. <laughs> Check this out. Okay. So yeah, John's playing around with uh, dips over here. Yeah. You know you're a real Belizean when you say dips. <laughs> yeah, chips and dips. <laughs> dips. It's not dip. <laughs> a lot of people, when people come in in restaurants, sometimes new new customers they're like, mm. "Can I have a um, mm. 
nacho. Then I was like, okay, what type of meat? They're like, what do you mean? I thought it was just chips and dip. No, I said, no. <laughs> we have a variety of type of meat that we, we display. And also, like I said, the topping is ridiculous. No. We also have a garbage nacho. A yeah, garbage? A garbage nacho. Okay. That's actually, a garbage nacho. Actually, I went to Hawaii mm -hmm. on a vacation, and I went to um, Tom Sink restaurant. Mm -hmm. And they had this display with food. Mm -hmm. And I refused to eat, so the lady refused to serve me. Mm. So she's like, why don't you want it? I said, no, because I don't know what's inside the garbage can. It's actually a little garbage can. And from there, she convinced me when she did. When it opened up, it was like shrimp, lobster, kongs, crab, everything was in it. So it was really nice. So when I went to my restaurant, I decided to put five different meats on top of a nacho. Mm -hmm. ah. So I have a garbage pizza. Mm -hmm. The garbage pizza is the same way. You put five different type of meat, and then it also have the topping beside onion, the next stuff that I have. So it's pretty good. You eat one or two slices, you're quite satisfied. Well, I'll tell you what, Mark. We, I loved every one of them. Mm -hmm. Each one of them with their own flavor but at the same time, originality to witness. And so Love it. what is your favorite flavor? My, well, I don't really like the spice, because it's spice and spice. <laughs> <laughs> so I prefer the blue hole or the Belizean. Okay. okay, you're a classic girl, right? All right. And any meat topping that, or seafood topping that you like the most? The ground steak. She, she's traditional. She yeah, likes yeah, the she, classic. Yeah. The classic is Belizean yeah. with ground steak. Mm. And you can get from that to uh, up to fish fillet cubes. You could get mackerel, yeah. stew conch if it's in season, <laughs> yes, okay. uh, barbecue chicken, pulled pork, uh, and there's just a, a wide variety available. Exactly. We thank you for coming thank in. Thank you guys. And showing us what you have available. And uh, once again, we're just highlighting different businesses and, and food offerings that they have. And so we thank you. Okay, I want to thank my staff. I want to thank the customers to keep on supporting me because I do a lot of good behind it. Uh -huh. Thank you guys very much. Thank, thank you guys you. for inviting me. All right, thank my buddy. You too. Thank, you, thank you, Nacho thank World. You. Nacho World. Actually, it's your world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got to take that break, and when we come back, we'll be wrapping things up. So stay with us. Over 100 years of service.
we're back. Just like that, we have come to the end of uh, hum, uh, Wednesday yes. show. <laughs> hum day, actually. And uh, it, was a, it was an excellent conversation. We had a great time, uh, you know, learning a lot of uh, the unions and actually the BNTU. And their meeting yesterday uh, with the Minister of yeah. Education and their way forward. It's always good when we see parties who are not in agreement reach a compromise. Mm -hmm. And so um, the BNT has been with us kind of talking about the issues as they've been unfolding. So we do appreciate them coming in and sharing the latest update in terms of the resolution that they are working towards at this point in time mm -hmm. and that they were able to have that successful meeting yesterday. Definitely. We also want to say a big thank you to uh, Sean Vargas, as you know, the Ministry of Public Service, Energy and <coughs> Public Utilities Employee Assistance Program is on. They've been uh, on since uh, 2014 and so far they've seen some success. Many a times we're at the workplace, but where our yeah. minds are not stable. Now, what they're doing is actually uh, giving you the avenue to yeah. talk to somebody and uh, to say, how you feel can you imagine the difference it would make if workplaces in general just added a little extra as they've done there to recognize people that people need to take care of their mental yeah, health yeah you know i think people are struggling with a lot of different issues parents uh uh, uh spousal Marriage, issues wife, children yes. financial issues yes. uh, drug abuse issues alcoholism and if they could just have that extra hand to kind of get them back on track, yes, how much yes. more productive people could be in the workplace. So I think it's great that the public service is really taking the lead on it. And it's a joint initiative between the government and the union as well. So I think uh, kudos to them. And it's also really, really um, encouraging to hear that not only have they created the program, but people are accessing the program as well. Definitely. We also want to say a big thank you to the folks of Nacho World. They want for you to know that it's actually your world, <laughs> but they've got the nachos that you like. They've got mo uh, breakfast, they've got lunch, and they've got nachos in all different types. All yeah. right? So a big thank you to Mark Reno for that. Yeah, I know. What a treat. Chips and dips for breakfast. Chips and dips. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's not a party if you don't have chips and dips, dips in the in, in, actually at your party. <laughs> so thanks to everybody who, uh, who uh, passed by uh, this morning. And then again, we are looking forward to uh, Polo, Polo's report uh, mm -hmm. for this evening. As you know, uh, Jacob Kingston is supposed to be uh, on the stand today as well. Yeah. So we'll be getting first-hand report from our reporter, out in uh, Utah. That's right. But that's all the time we have for today. Remember, if you want to contact us, send us an email at oye at channel5belize.com. Drop me a line at marlene underscore oye at channel5belize.com. Find us on Facebook at Open Your Eyes BZ. Or you could also check us out on Instagram at oye belize. As per usual, Belize, uh, join us again tomorrow morning when you open your eyes. To start your morning right. As Until then, uh -huh. keep your eyes, your mind. <laughs> And your heart's open. I love that part. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Enjoy your day, please. Eyes was brought to you by the Belize Bank, our country, your bank.